today we are going to be sanding a ceiling. Um, we did some drywall work, they're doing a little bit of a renovation. Uh, they have a textured ceiling. So what we're going to be doing is um, sanding it down, priming it, and retexturing the whole ceiling. We could blend, but um, it's a smaller ceiling, so this is going to work just great. So I'll get my stuff in and uh, show you guys what we're up to. So this is, this is the area that we're working on here. Um, you can see up there, the drywall ran across like this. We got rid of that and now it's flowing straight back into there and there as well. They've got lights up there. They're gonna have um, some artwork on the wall, I believe. And then this was also a nook in here and we framed that and put drywall on top and some um, backer in there so that they can hang their TV. So what we're gonna do first is cover this whole floor. Uh, Dave's going around and taping the edge of the crown so we don't scuff the paint. And uh, yeah, you can see this poor paint job on here at one time. So we're gonna pull all this texture off and then uh, just retexture the whole ceiling just for those little spots. But it beats trying to blend it. So let's get going. Okay, first off, let's start with setting up the vacuum. So this stuff's all corded. The cool thing about the vacuum, slide that guy over. You can get most of the cord off in one little bit there. And what I've done is the cord for the Planex, I just have Velcroed right onto my vacuum hole here. Get asked all the time, what's this all about? Um, so it's a little chute. And what you do is you can run the vacuum. Um, and you can see it's, it's really pressurized and it helps um, clean out the filter even more when it's like that. So when you're sanding like a big ceiling or a lot at one time, um, it's good just to stop and close that up and then do exactly what I did there. And it just slams out the filter even more. So let's get this hooked up here. That goes in here, you open that. You don't really need this. Um, you can just like pull off the hose if this wasn't on here and just go like that. It would do the same thing. But I like having this closed if for transportation, if it falls over, that's falls out or whatever. And it sort of looks cool. Okay, now over to the Plain X. So this is their newest one, the 2.0. Comes in a really nice case here. Um, I believe I was doing some finish sanding with it, so I probably have like 220 on there. Yeah, 220 was on there. So I'm going to grab, for this ceiling I'm going to use 100 grit. I think I already told you guys that. And 100 is like a happy medium. Um, it's not going to cause swirls in the ceiling and it's going to remove things pretty quick. Now, if you're using, um, let's say, if you're using it on painted texture, you're gonna to wanna to go with a more aggressive grit just to get that paint off the top and then move down to something like this so you're not causing swirls um, in your drywall sheets. So this guy's really easy to set up. Uh, so you can do it short like this, but for this ceiling, I'm gonna to toss an extension on here. There's a, a place for two extensions in there. And you just slide it on. What I've found is you got to move it over just a little bit more to get it to slide on really nice. And then twist that and it locks in. Do that for the next guy. Locks in nice there. Um, what they've changed about this is they have the handle here now. So you can actually like rest it up against your leg, uh, set it down on the ground because the hose now connects here rather than right at the end, which is a, a nice feature. So we just push our hose on there and then this guy clips over like that so it doesn't fall out. 
and then the plug goes in here and it actually gets a twist. I twisted it there and it stays on and then you got to twist it again to pull it back off. For doing ceiling work, uh, I moved this guy over just a little more to the ceiling, not all the way. This is just going to give you better suction on the ceiling and you can just adjust it as you go. Tool itself I got on full blast here, six, so we'll give it a go. Um, nice feature about this too is the lights on it. You can turn the lights on and off and it just makes things a lot easier to see on the ceiling there. I'll shut the light off and you'll see it's quite the difference. Now it does get most of the dust, but I still like to wear a mask when I'm doing it. And uh, safety glasses just in case, you know, don't want to be picking dust out of your eyes at night. Just switch it on. Just as you can see here, there's a little too, too much swirls. It's grabbing onto the ceiling too much. So what I'm gonna do is move this guy over just to dial it down a bit. You can also mess with the suction on the vacuum, but I find this works really well just on this dial here. So I'm about halfway between the wall setting and the ceiling setting. So let's give it a try. quarter of the ceiling's already sanded. Um, comes off really easy. One thing I want to point out is I don't have a interface pad on here um, for sanding, uh, finished sanding. There's an interface pad that you can actually put on here. Let's see if I have it in my case. I'll just show you guys what it looks like. Foam pad. I get asked all the time. Um, people are having trouble getting sw with swirls on there, uh, well, I don't have it in here, I thought I did. Swirls on their drywall um, and mud. And the interface pad, it's just a foam, it's like a buffer between, um, and it just, it just makes things glide over smoother and uh, 
and won't gouge into the, the drywall as much, but. Okay, so it's all sanded here. Um, yeah, really not, not much fixing, if any. Really, we just gotta prime it and, uh, and retexture it. Two more things I just thought of um, while I was sanding. Anything before 1990, we test for asbestos. Got a test for asbestos, this house was built um, late late 2000s so it's fine um another thing check out the floor our poly did shuffle around but there's no dust there's no dust so that that's where this really comes in handy a lot of guys will say wet down the ceiling and scrape it yeah that works great you get tapes coming off you're introducing a ton of humidity into the house um and you're just creating a mess with this there's like no dust on the floor, so I don't know. Um, for us, it's a no-brainer because we're always in occupied homes. So uh, yeah, if you got any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you like the video, like it. We'll see you guys on the next one.